how to use the general binomial theorem to determine the first three non zero terms of the Taylor series of at zero. We also Taylor series by center zero, we also have a name for this. We call this the current series just in case you forget. Alright, the current series. For the function, the function in this case is 1 plus x raised power minus half. What we require is write down a general term of this series and state the radius of the conversion. So in this case, in order to do this, you must recall what the general panel theorem says. Right? So let's go to the next page to see the general binomial theorem. So the general binomial theorem says that if you have 1 plus x raised to the power alpha, this is equal to the summation of alpha choose n, x power n, summing up for n equal to 0 to infinity, and this is valid for the absolute value of x is less than 1. In our case, alpha is equal to minus half since 1 plus x power minus the alpha is minus half here. So remember, you can remember this thing. For example, if you have n r, what does it mean? Right? For example, if you have 7, 4, what does it mean? 7, 4 means you can calculate this way. Start with 4 then next number 1 less is 6 then next number 1 less is 5 next number 1 less is 4 okay, there are 4 terms all together then the denominator you have 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is how we calculate 7, 3, 4 take for example if you have 1 to calculate say 6, 4 then what you do start with 4 times 5 and 4 times 3, 4 term. Then the denominator is 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is how we calculate this NCR by hand. So, in particular, you want to find out what is minus half choose n. So, what you do now is start with minus half, then minus half minus 1, then minus half minus 2, all the way until minus half minus n plus 1 all together at the end terms. Then divide the denominator, divide by the denominator is n factor. Notice that there are n terms. Okay? So notice that there are n terms here. Having known that, then we are go ahead to find the first three terms, n equals 0, 1, and 2. So notice that when do n equals 0, notice that n C zero, 0 factorial is 1, alright? So in particular, you notice that n 0 is 1. So alpha 0 will be 1, so I use alpha here. Alpha 0 will be 1. And minus half 1 is only a 1 term, so there's that minus half. And minus half 2 is 2 terms, so minus half times minus half minus 1. Over two factor two factorial, you find that this is three over eight. So we have first term coefficient is one, second term coefficient is minus half, third term coefficient is three over eight. So this thing here, together with n equals zero, one, and two, you will find that the series become right. So first term is 1, right, the first term is 1, from alpha 0, okay, half 0 is 1, and then second term is minus half, is here, okay, so this thing coming to here, minus half coming to here, and then 3 over 8 coming to here. And this is how to find the using a general binomial series. 
And the y-sub radius is convergent now because I know that this is for, for x between minus 1 and 1. Therefore, the radius of convergent is 1. Right? This is because the center is 0. And if x between 1 and minus 1 means right, x between 1 and minus 1. Therefore, the radius is 1. So the radius is 1 because x between minus 1 and 1 and center is 0. So I equal to 1. That is the end of this recording. For this part, I'm going to show you how to use class pad to find the Taylor series of 1 plus x raised to the power minus half. So let me launch my class pad early. I go to mean calculation. Let me erase my previous calculation first and then I'm going to do an interactive calculation. Interactive, then there is a advance, then I look at Taylor. So I can enter the expression. The expression is 1 plus x. So I need to enter the x here. Raise the power minus half. So raise the power, then minus half. And the variable is x, the point is center is zero. I want to I want to get to the first three terms means x power zero, x power one, x power two. So I put order two and press OK. So you tell me the first three term is actually three x squared over eight minus x over two plus one or one minus x over two plus three x squared over eight. 